calculus of exponential functions is uh, both one of the easiest things to wrap your head around and also one of the most important because later on one of the important applications of this kind of calculus is in exponential growth and decay. Lots and lots of objects like say populations or um, radioactive substances are modelled by this exponential function. So this becomes really important practically later on, but as we pointed out, it's also really easy. The derivative of e to the x is of course just e to the x. Now we haven't really talked about it very much, though some of the questions may have touched on it. Every time you learn something about differentiation, that tells you something about integration, right? Because they are reverse processes. So if the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, it stands to reason that the integral, stop, three of you, why are you here at this time? Do you have a good reason? Hurry up and take a seat. You too, Maya, come on. I wouldn't like to say it again, but it sounds like I must. It will not get any easier to wake up at this time. It will only get harder. So if you are doing something or controlling your circumstances in a way that makes it hard for you to get to this class on time, that thing needs to change. If you have a legitimate reason why you cannot do that, then come and tell me, that's fine. Some people already have, but if you do not, then change something now because you do not want me to have this five minute conversation with you every period zero, four times a cycle. It's not fun and it's a waste of time. Are we clear year 12? Sorry, let me ask again. Are we clear year 12? Okay. Where were we? We know something about derivatives. That tells you something about integrals. We saw questions that said differentiate, then integrate, right? So we know these processes are linked together. If I integrate from here, I should come back to where I started, right? This should be just e to the x with one subtle difference, of course. This is an indefinite integral, so it could have come from any of these guys, right? Where c is any kind of constant that we like. You're just moving the graph up and down, the gradient function will not be changed, okay? So this is all fine. We also looked very briefly at what happens when you don't have the, the nice, the natural base of e. If you had, say, 2 to the x, it's just off by a constant. In that case, it'd be log 2. Uh, it just depends on the base. Okay. Now, just like every time you think of differentiation, you learn something about integration. Every time you learn something about ex exponentials, you learn something about logs, because they are just the same object looked at from two different sides. Okay? Exponentials and logs tell you something all about growth. So the natural question that leads out of this, after we know the derivative of e to the x is, what is the derivative of the natural log? of x. We're going to start with the natural log because as you can see everything is nice and neat with the natural base of e. Here's an important time to remind you that notation with logs, not the greatest. Um, ln stands for log natural, it's the base of e. So this is the same as log base e of x. Okay? In pretty much every context mathematically that's interesting, this is the base we are interested in. So much so that if you're in a textbook or in an exam or in pretty much any mathematical literature of any kind, if you just see log of x without any base described, they mean e because that's the one where all of the nice, neat mathematics happens. Anywhere mathematically you'll see that base e. Except there's another place that you use logs that is not mathematical, and this sounds ridiculous, um, where that's not what it means. Because, let's see if I've got it in my front pocket. I think I do. Because pretty much everyone should have, yeah, wonderful. They're calculated with them, right? Have you got your calculator? If you don't have it out, just get it out. Now, this is what I mean by not great. Your calculator has two log buttons. Two log buttons. One says ln, so that's completely unambiguous. We know what that means. The n stands for natural, it's base e. Okay? One of the ways you can tell that it's base e is if you have a look above the ln button, you can see it says e to the power of whatever, right? At least if you have the same calculator as I do, which the vast majority of you do. But then right beside it, 
there's a button which says just log, and there's no base described. And everything else in this context would think, well, that should be base E, right? Except that it's not, because this is not a mathematical calculator. You're like, what other kind of calculator is there? Well, can you see at the, well, mine doesn't even say it anymore. It used to say it at the top. This is a scientific calculator, isn't it? Right? And scientists are not so much interested in base E. What's scientific notation in base? Like 4.7 times 10 to the whatever, right? Because we live in a decimal system, okay? So scientists use base 10 all the time, which is why if you have a look again at the log button, you can see right above it, it does not say e to the power of, it says, well, mine says, 10 to the power of, right? So that's a visual cue for you. Just um, for the sake of interest, if you go all the way to the bottom of your calculator, next to the decimal point on mine, do you notice there's a times 10 to the x? Again, it's because it's a scientific calculator. That's the base they're interested in, okay? So everywhere in the universe, except for your calculator, which you use every day, uh, if you see log and there's no number, it means base E, bless you, okay? And all of these other ways. But when you use this guy, you need to get used to tapping the LN button and not using the log button for base E. Does that make sense? Is it clear? So I'm just gonna add that as an extra thing. LN, log base E, log, it means base E except on your calculator, which um, is mildly frustrating, but now that we've made such a big deal of it and your calculator itself has so many clues to remind you, hopefully you'll remember this from now on, okay? <laughs>